Hi guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is part two, guys. Seeing as you guys really enjoyed part one, we're back with some more space fun. And uh, in today's video, our goal is to get to orbit, whereas before it was just to get into space. Now, orbits in this game can be really hard, they can be really easy. Now, they do involve quite a bit of skill. So this may take a few times for me to get right, because I'm not great at this game, guys, and I'm fairly new to it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go straight to the vehicle assembly building. This is our space station, as you guys will remember. We got the runway, this crappy dirt path out here that no one ever uses. Yeah, and then we got the rest of the space station thing. Space station? This isn't a space station. Space... port? Space center I guess yeah so we're gonna go to the uh, the vehicle assembly and we're gonna build a ship to go into space now um, yeah as I said I might not be great at this it may take a few tries so they may be a few fails in this video but we all love fails in Kerbal Space Program they're so fun to watch I'm just gonna build a basic rocket I think four maybe five engines on the stage I don't know we'll slap a parachute on there and from utility we'll get this parachute and we want our guys to be safe in there guys or girls you know 2021 uh, <laughs> we'll slap some parachutes on there three of them as well so we got in total four parachutes on the pod here five five fuel tanks we need an engine we'll go for um, Go for the this one. Oh, there you go. We'll get a coupler. Uh, oh, that's way too big. That one. T12. TD12. There we go. More engines. Yeah, we definitely need more engines. We'll go for. Should we go for five more? Keep it even. Yeah. Five more should look good. Well not Looks don't really matter now I think about it, but yeah, it will look good. So that's one more. And just slap an engine on this bad boy. And there we go guys. Our rocket is completed. Let's let's check who's going up today. Uh yeah, Valentina today. She she will live long and hopefully won't die in a fire explosion. Uh, yeah. She's gonna die, guys. 100%. She's dead. She's dead. Just as soon as you step foot on one of my rockets, you're dead. Anyway, we're gonna name the ship the, um... Orb... Oh my god, I can't spell. Orbit. Um... Orbiter... MK1. MK12, MK1. There we go. Orbiter MK1. Let's launch you. So I have had a bit of practice doing this, and uh, yeah, I, I, I hopefully will do this right. Okay, let's restage all this because it's all in the wrong order. So that fires, that fires, that fires. But we don't want the parachutes to fire at the same time, so we want that to be down. Stage one. So now we're going to turn on SAS, RCS, full throttle it, and then what I'm going to do is once I throttle it, I'm going to just go max throttle till I get to 5,000. Then at 5,000 meters from uh, sea level, I'm going to uh, go to half throttle, and then I'm going to um, at that point I think I'll have. I think I should have used up all my fuel in my bottom five engines, so at that point I'll stage separate and then go to the top engine. We don't really need to talk about that, let's just goddamn, let's just do this guys, we don't need preparation. Let's do it. Three, two, one. And we're off guys. Damn, it's going pretty slow at the start. So yeah, we're going to wait till 
Uh, we're 5,000 meters from sea level and then we're gonna uh, half throttle and stage set. So this could be a wait. This could take a while. We're only at 400. 500. This could take a while. How's Valentina doing? I'm not gonna click her view because I never know how to get out of the view of the, uh, the Kerbal. So I always just get stuck in the Kerbal view and I, it's so hard to fly it from their view. I always forget what button it is to get out. Uh, 2000. Oh, we're actually getting up pretty fast now. So I'm, I'm ready to put the engines when we get to 5000. Right, we're now at half throttle. We do still have a bit of fuel, we're just gonna let it go and then I'm gonna um, switch the engines. I'm actually gonna start turning as well pretty soon. Okay, we're gonna do that. We'll, I, actually, you know what, to conserve fuel, we'll go to quarter throttle, and then we'll move you into a better position on the, uh, on the, uh, sphere. We'll go to a bit further, bring the prograde a bit further, and hold prograde there. If we hold there, I think that should be good. Now we'll just full throttle it till that apoapsis, apoapsis, I forget how it's pronounced, apoapsis, yeah that seems right. We'll just go half throttle till the apoapsis is at 70k, which is like the border of space basically, and then we'll cut the engine and we'll prograde to uh, do the periapsis. This game is just watching numbers a lot of the time, it is fun though, you guys should totally play this game if you haven't, it is really fun. Uh, you get to do a lot of fun things. I bet this is what Elon Musk feels like every day when he wakes up. He just gets to watch rockets. Okay, I'm getting ready to cook the engines. I'm going to bring it down now at a thousand meters per second. And 70. Okay, we're going to cut there and now we're going to go back into the rocket view. So it appears we can't prograde normally, so I'll just have to hold it in the prograde. Thing, which is fine, it's just easier when I have the stability assist on the prograde. So now we have to wait till we're T minus, I'd say about 30 seconds away from the apoapsis, and then it will burn at um, half throttle. In fact, full throttle. We might as well just burn the fuel at this point to get the full orbit. So, yeah, T minus 30 seconds, and then we'll do that burn. T minus 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, and full throttle. Now let me just watch the periapsis. It's making a good orbit. I don't want to use all my fuel yet though. I'm just going to cut my engine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Wait. Yeah. I'm going to wait till I'm closer to the apoapsis again. Is that a little too close? We're gonna go 30 seconds again and then we'll burn again. Okay. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Full burn. Do we have a periapsis yet? We might as well just full throttle it now, guys. Oh no! I know why that's happened. So guys, in my practices, I did use one less fuel tank than I have here, so I think I may have added too much weight and that's why I failed. Uh, we'll have to try this again. But yeah, that, that was actually okay. We got kind of close to making a full orbit, but we did run out of fuel. And this apoapsis went way too far past 70k. I don't know why that happened. I think I was burning in the wrong direction or something. But maybe it's something to do with the fact I couldn't lock onto the prograde. I'm not sure, we'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll try this again. Uh, let's, let's revert the launch, guys. I think this time I'll burn at 40 seconds, maybe. In fact, no, that might be a bit too little. We'll just go 30, the same as we did before. We have way less fuel, and I also need to line up with the prograde, don't I? So 
So we're now at the pro grade and we'll burn. Yes! Damn it, the periapsis is too low. But that is an orbit that will work, I, I assume. Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, this one isn't technically in the space that's suborbital. Uh, but this one is way above. Uh, we could adjust that if we had more fuel, but we don't. Uh, oh. That's weird. Uh, yeah, we could adjust this orbit if we had more fuel, and that is possible. We could send a ship up to meet this one with more fuel to refuel it. Um, I think we could at least. Maybe. But yeah, um, we did get into orbit eventually, even if it's not a great one. It could be better, this periapsis is way too low. Should be fine. Let's just check it, I guess. We, we'll, we'll spin around for a while and we'll see if this is a viable orbit. They're gonna call me the king of orbits now. Even though I didn't do it that well. I think we got close, guys. And that is close enough for me. Maybe we should have done a contract that was like, or get into an orbit. But I guess it wouldn't have counted because we're not technically in orbit yet, I guess, so. Maybe that would have been pointless. I don't know. Let's just see if it can pass this one. Ooh. Now, that isn't great. The peris periapsis is actually getting lower towards the Earth. That is not good. So that periapsis uh, will eventually cause this orbit to fail, uh, but other than that, we did a good job. Um, just ignore the fact that this person will die, um, so I'm sorry to say, um, what's your name, um, Valentina, I'm sorry Valentina, but you're dead, oh my god, we're burning up in the atmosphere. We're that low, really. Oh no. Oh no, it's all going wrong. Oh crap. I, I thought this would be fine, but not high enough. Oh crap. It's all going wrong, guys. The apoapsis and periapsis are... Oh no. Yep. Valentina's dead. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're going to enjoy the death of Valentina. She was brave and she, uh, she, she died for a good cause. She died for Phoenix Space Agency, the greatest space agency uh, on Earth, on Kerbin, sorry. And um, yeah, she died for a good cause. So, well, she's not dead yet, technically, but she will be. She's clapping <laughs> for her death. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully if you guys like this one, we'll, we'll make another Kerbal Space Program. But for now, goodbye guys. I hope you enjoyed that explosion because I sure did. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching my failed orbit and yeah. Pretty cool. Bye guys.